Everyone, this is Don and his wife, Amy. Welcome them to the show. You know, we all, we all as parents want to protect our children, but for Don and Amy, they are facing a parent's worst nightmare. You see, they hired a, a young woman named Jessica to babysit their then 14-year-old son, Stephen. Jessica went a little further than just babysitting Stephen. Don and Amy say that Jessica seduced young Stephen. And now she claims he's the father of her daughter, Cheyenne. We trusted our babysitter, Jessica, to watch our kids. We had no idea she was having sex with our son when he was only 14. Jessica showed up at our house, claiming our son Stephen is the father of her baby. This girl is looking for nothing but a meal ticket. My son is not the father of her baby. This girl looks nothing like my son or anyone else in our family. Jessica thinks she can pull the wool over my son's eyes, but not me and Amy. DNA will prove that our son is not the father. We're going to need Jessica and her baby to move out of our house and let Stephen live his teenage years. Okay. Some story. You trusted Jessica to take care of your kids as a babysitter. Yeah, what was I thinking? Who I know she was going to molest my 14-year-old son. What the hell is wrong with this girl? Fast forward. Your son now, Stephen, is 17. Yep. Yeah. All of a sudden, Jessica, what, shows up? She has to come visit. She didn't say so nothing about the kid. Oh, you didn't know. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't know she came with Shut a baby. Up. one time, ho. <laughs> Has Jessica and the three-year-old been in your house? About a week, two weeks. About Maybe. a week or two. Uh, but you ain't be less than that. Less than that, they're about to leave by, after by the, the show. By the way, how's it going? Not too good. All the drama and everything they bring to us, my wife thinks that I might be sleeping with this hoe because my <laughs> son did. Oh, my God, I'm not sleeping with you? That is so disgusting. Okay. I just want him out of the house. I what happens if you're your grandchild? If it's my it's grandchild, not. it's different, but it's not my grandchild. It looks my nothing like my son. It's Shut up! It's my time, man! Shut up, you said me, Grandpa! You know it's just like a baby! Like my son, and the test will prove that it's not my son. Do you ever think that you'd be a grandfather your age? Not at 35, my age! Crazy! <laughs> I can't wait to hear what Jessica has to say. This is what she told my producers. I know Don and Amy hired me to be their babysitter, but I never meant to hurt them. But here are the facts. I had sex with Steven for several months behind their backs. And he is the father of my daughter, Cheyenne. I know this is shocking, but everyone needs to get over it. Dawn and Amy need to accept the fact that they have a three-year-old granddaughter. Ever since I came back into their lives, Dawn has been nothing but a deadbeat grandpa. And this has to stop. Steven knows what we did. He may be 17, but he's not a little boy anymore. I'm so proud of Steven for manning up, unlike his annoying parents. Listen, Dawn and Amy, I don't need any more trouble out of you two. What I need is for you to let Steven be a father to his daughter. Because me and Cheyenne are here to stay. Oh, oh my gosh, Elvis, oh. not this kid. Everybody, here's Jessica. Jessica, oh. come on. Jessica, they look Not alike. Like you. They do. Well, I look at their noses. The noses? The yes, she looks like you. Look at yours. She looks just like you. You were hired to babysit the kids three years ago, and uh, how come you messed around with the 14-year-old? Wait a second. He is 14. At he 14 needs years old, why didn't you say this. him, 
Wait a second, Stephen. You're 14. We can't do this. Jessica, Jessica, okay, that's one side of the story. Now, the other day, I guess you must have talked to Stephen. You said if you could come by, right? Right. You wanted to come by. I did. And so Mistake. Stephen asked his parents if you could come by, and they said, oh, okay, we remember death. Jessica, she used to be your babysitter. He shows up at the bus station, and you have a three-year-old with you. I do. I do. And it's your son's baby. Oh, They're supposed God. to be oh, Stephen today. Too. Go he back to mama, not. Tramp. Just go on. It's not here. Why did you wait three years for these people to know? Yeah, it's because right. because I didn't want Stephen to have to be a father at 14. Well, how about 17? Well, what about He's 17? only 17 now. 14, not in it. The You're only right. piece missing here is Stephen. This is what he had to say. I just found out that I could be the father of my babysitter's three-year-old daughter, Cheyenne. When Jessica used to babysit me and my sister, we would sneak and have sex when my parents weren't home. I was only 14 years old when me and Jessica had sex, but I knew what I was doing. Before Jessica came to live with us, my mom and dad didn't know she had a baby, but I did. I know they're only trying to protect me, but I need them to help me take care of Cheyenne because I know she's my baby. I need my parents and everyone else in my family to start accepting that I'm a father. Cheyenne and Jessica are going to be in my life for a long time. Everybody, here's Steven. You got life messed up, brother. Right, oh, you know, 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 what you see. We'll Steven. raise one to two kind if it is yours, won't we? Wait a second. Because you ain't even finished school yet. You Amy, quit. wait a minute. Steven, she was 19, you were 14. Correct. And you're back with her, right? According yes. to her, you all are sleeping together. Yes, correct. Do you get the feeling, Steven, that you're brainwashed? Did she brainwash you? No. No. She had two of She had two. brainwashing? It's too hard to take care of a baby. Steven. You need to grow up. That child looks like you. She's got my nose, Mari. Like she has your nose? Yes. She, no, she does not got her nose. She's she got her nose. Look at her. Look. She has got her nose. Look at her. Look at her. I want to know what the story is. I understand. By the way, Stephen, if you're not the father, you will tell, hi, Jessica, nice to see you, goodbye, right? No. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, no, there are going to be charges fine. It's over. If this is your grandchild, then he's got support and all the help he needs, Mari. So does she. So does she. But it ain't our grandkids. It's what we're trying to tell you. Well, we're going to find out right now. When it comes to three-year-old Cheyenne, Stephen, you are not. I trusted you from day one. I told you she was honey. lying. No, you mean ticket stops here, girl? See you, Pennsylvania. No, I trust so you. Young mother, honey. don't jump all over her. It's over, okay? I know, Mark. You got you. the result you wanted. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much, Mark. Okay. God now, bless you. Sorry. Stephen. Stephen, this is not this is not your child. All right. And this is a much older woman, and you have a whole life in front of you. So you ought to think real hard whether you want to get involved with a woman who already has a child, all right? Because that means your teenage years are finished. I know, but I'm going to step up and be a father, Mark. I don't think you should, son. I really don't. I understand that child needs a father, but I think the child should have its real father, okay? You're not in a position at 17 years old to be a father. 
Nobody is. You're all, you're all too young. You are not. <laughs> Don and Amy just found out that even though their 14-year-old son Stephen had an affair with his babysitter Jessica, Where are you going? this teen boy is not the father of his babysitter's three-year-old daughter. I told you she was lying. <laughs> Oh, you mean take stops here, girl? Don't jump all over her. It's over, okay? I know, boy. You got the result you wanted. Yes, sir. All right? Thank you so much, boy. Okay. God now, bless you. Steven, this is not your child. All right? In a shocking turn of events, Jessica's coming back to the show for a second DNA test. You thought it was Steven the last time. You were so sure of that. Because now she claims the real father of her baby is Steven's own stepfather. Don! Oh. Make sure to watch Mari every day to see this babysitter's incredible second DNA test. Don. Don, this is Brittany. Welcome, Brittany, back to the show. <laughs> Brittany was here two weeks ago. She was here two weeks ago. She was left devastated when she found out that this man, Deontay, was not the father of her three-year-old daughter, Harmony. So before... Look how cute she is. Now, before we find out why she's back, take a look at the last appearance of Brittany. What happened when you informed him that, that you were pregnant? He didn't do nothing. You know what he told our people? He didn't even know you were pregnant. He lied! Who do you think's the main reason for this? Both of them the reason, and his mama Monique keep filling his head with all these lies. He is not your baby! Yes, yes he is! He is not baby! fact that I'm not the father of Britney's daughter, Harmony. This little girl is three years old. How do you go three years without knowing who your baby daddy is? Hey, Nick, how are you? Look at this Look at this head. Hey, look. Hey, look. You are not. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hey. Made a mistake. You want to be a woman, you be a woman, and you stand up and you do what the hell you need to do. Now, that was enough of a surprise, but after the show, there was another surprise. Guess what? Brittany and Deontay got back together. They are now a couple. Deontay is here to support Brittany. But Deontay also says, he also says that the DNA results with a man named Anthony will determine his future with Britney. So what do you I'm mean by that? Daddy. Well, when I found out that Harmony wasn't my daughter, right. I felt bad. Right. Every child deserves a father. Every right. child. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. You know? And, and, hold on. That's not even it. Wait a second. That, that's, that's, not, that's not even a half of it, you know? I've been knowing her for so long. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to just turn my back so on So you and she got back together again, but now you are saying... If Anthony, this guy, is not proven to be the father. And the only reason why I'm going to leave because she told me she only messed around once. Oh. And if he ain't the daddy, then if she lied to me about one thing, she's going to lie to me about two things. She's going to lie to me about three things. It's going to be another end of cycle. You feel me? It's going to go. And I'm you know glad saying? you're here to support me. Thank you for your support. Brittany, you think it's this guy? Yes. One time. You all went together one time? But it only takes one time. He said he wore protection. He didn't wear nothing. We was drunk. How he know what he wore? He didn't have a right to be mad? No, for what? Well, for I'm it's... calling now, so no, ain't no need yeah, to be mad. He reason... need to step up now, more and do what he got to do. But, Brittany, there's a three-year-old child there. He hasn't been around a, a child. That's three years. Uh, we got 15 more to go. 18, honey. Add it up. It's all right. He's the only possibility. Yep. He's Okay. All right. Well, guess what? I mean, this is what Anthony I'm had to say. I'm going to fix this for my daughter. We're going to prove today who the okay, daddy is. Okay, okay. I can't believe that Brittany is trying to pin her baby on me. Less than two weeks ago, she texted this guy named Deontay, and he wasn't the father. I got a real good feeling that Brittany will be right back on the Morris show. She's going to have to test like six other men. When I met Brittany three years ago, she was loose, and it's likely she's still sleeping around. I don't think I'm the father of Harmony for the simple fact that me and Brittany only had sex one time and I use protection. I'm interracial, and Harmony looks pure black. I'm hoping it's proven I'm not Harmony's father. I don't want to deal with Brittany and all of her drugs. Anthony. 
What's up, Mar? You think you look like that child? No, baby, don't look nothing like me. Hey, look at her! She looks just like you! What are you talking about, Lou? Hey, baby, don't look like me. Look at these ears. They point out just like... She bought, she bought this stuff down, you know? We, she got elf ears home. just like your legs. You're an elf, too. Who do I... Hey, 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 shut up, shut up. Anthony, you say that, you know... She <laughs> waited three years to tell me this. Come on, now. Okay, Ian, you can step up now and do what you got to do as a father. I mean, what are you talking about? Anthony. What are you talking about? If it is mine, then Anthony. I will. Okay, okay, that's all I need so, to hear. So, your doubt is because it, it was mine, one, time. one time. One time. You also, one time, one time. Ain't no Wait, don't we take one time? Are you serious? Not that one time. Not, yeah, that one time. Not that that one, one time. time. <laughs> so, if you were drinking, Anthony, is it possible you forgot to put on the condom? Yep, yep, that's what he can I put say it on every time. You did on, not. I keep you one on me. I keep one on You're me. We're going to be back next week. Well, we got to get, you got to get rich out of us. We see what you got to resolve. Mark's going to get rich out of this life. She's going to be on the pillow. You'll be in this child's life, wouldn't you, if yeah. you're the father? Yeah, okay. yeah. Because you if don't I have, am, though. You don't have any children, right? No, I'm 20 years old. No kids. This one ain't mine. When it comes to three-year-old Harmony, Anthony, you are not. <laughs> This is what we man. I don't know about me and you, but I got you, man. I'm going to take care of that baby, man. I got you. I got you, man. She mine, man. Man, you lied to me. I told you not to lie to me. If you would have just been 100, we wouldn't be here. It's Call going me. to be all right. I love you. You got a friend here. You got a friend here. my life, man. You got a friend. You, man. You're lucky to have a friend, all right? Okay? Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. That's it, Doc. It's all right. It's all right. I hope it's... I hope you work it out then. What's up, bro, bro? What's up, man? I apologize. You're all right. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last 15 years of this show, there is one guest I'm always asked about. Marisol. Marisol is back today. Everybody, please welcome Marisol. Here she is. For those of you who don't know Marisol's journey on The Maury Show, Marisol has had 16 paternity tests for her five children. Why is she here today? Wait a minute. Let's take a look back. Five beautiful children, 16 DNA tests. It all began with a search for her daughter Shadiman's father. Not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Marisol put her search on hold for Shadiman's father and turned her attention to her son, Joshua. You are not yes, yes, yes. For her son, Davion, the paternity test left Marisol with more painful questions than answers. Not, not, not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Although Marisol gave up her search for Davion's dad a year later, Marisol came back hoping she'd have better luck finding the father of her new baby, Anthony. The mystery man who could not be here is not Marisol. Joey, you are not the father. One year later, Marisol returned with Reggie, hoping this time she would finally gain closure. Reggie, you are the father. A few months later, Marisol and Reggie had this shocking update. Reggie has really stepped up. But Anthony's not the only person he's been there for. Marisol and I are together, and she is now six months pregnant. We won't be coming back for a DNA test this time. I know this one is mine. Okay, that was the update. And now Marisol has good news and bad news. The good news is she has welcomed a sixth child, Jelani. She's beautiful. The bad news is Reggie, who she was with, is denying that he's the father. More furious than ever. 
I am Fiora because once again, I'm here what? to prove to Reggie that he is my baby's father. Well, why would he doubt that he's the father? Because I confessed something to him. Yeah, what did you do? I cheated on him. <laughs> he knows that he is Jaylani's father. So, when Jaylani was born, was Reggie there? He was there. We were there. We were together. We were one big happy family. We were living together and everything. I told him one little secret or whatever, and now he's denying my baby. But today he's going to find out he is Jaylani's father. You want to be back with him? Oh, hell no. No? This is what Reggie had to say. Last time I was on the show, I found out I was Reggie, the father of Anthony, Marisol's baby. After that, I thought me and Marisol could make it work. It makes me sick that I'm back on this stage. But I shouldn't be too surprised. It is Marisol I'm dealing with. When Marisol told me she was pregnant with our second child, I was happy. It wasn't easy standing by Marisol's side. She has the worst reputation. But I defended her because I thought she was carrying my child. On Jelani's first birthday, that's when Marisol told me she cheated on me. I couldn't believe it. All I can think of is, that baby's not mine. I can't trust a word, Marisol says. And until I get DNA proof, I'm not gonna claim that baby. And I definitely don't think this is the last time you're gonna see her on board. Everybody, here's Reggie. First of all, I want to congratulate you for being a good father to Anthony. Thank you. That was your child. Yeah. You love that little boy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Of course I do. And you're going to love Jaylani, too, because she's yours. Oh. Did you ever think you'd be here again? No, I didn't think. I thought the lies and the betrayal was over, but it's Marisol, so... Oh, well, we're know. here, and I'm going to prove to you she's yours. So stop talking. Well, we're Reggie. Out. Take a look at that child. Take a look at you. You don't see any similarities. She doesn't look like you. She doesn't look like you. Look at that big ass forehead. She's got yours. What does mean, man? Looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. What do you want me to do? Looks can be. Look at that. This, this, this. She's got yours. She's got yours. Come on. Did you. When she was born, you were at the hospital, weren't you? Yes, I was. Sure was. That's what I the do. I'm a father. Oh, I'm, yeah. I think it's my baby. I'm going to go see, no, you don't see think my baby. No, she is yours. Oh, my gosh. So she says. So she says. So she says. If we prove that, that you're the father, you'll sign a birth certificate. He yes, is going to sign it. Anyone yes, may talk to you. Well, let's find out. I assume, I assume you want to be the father. Because you've father. been there with her. Yeah, I do. I, I really do, but... She's yours. I don't we'll know. I don't know what to do. When it comes to one-year-old Jelani, Reggie, you are the father. <laughs> Mary believes her son Patrick's fiance is definitely a cheater. Guess what? Mama has had enough. Because she claims his fiance made a sexual pass at her. How ridiculous is that? How long can you get it? One angry mother trying to stop her own son's wedding. She came on to you. I wanted a threesome with me and I turned her down. She's a liar. The outrageous lie detector results. And the even more outrageous paternity results are in Patrick. One babysitter. One teen boy. And one shocking DNA test. Did this teen boy make a baby with his babysitter or not? Steven. The incredible answer is coming up. Everyone, this is Michelle. Welcome, Michelle. Hey. This is great. Get ready. Five months. Michelle's ready to walk down the aisle with her fiancé, Patrick. There is someone who never wants that to happen. It's Patrick's mother, Mary.
You know what Mary claims? Mary claims that Michelle came on to her sexually. Yeah. How ridiculous is that? How low can you get? And then Mary says when she rejected the offer, Michelle went after her son, Patrick. She has lost her mind. And all of that has resulted in a three-year-old child named Lexi. There's Lexi. The baby. A child who, by the way, Mary adamantly denies is her granddaughter. From day one. From day one, Michelle was way before my son did. And she's a lying, manipulating, destroying piece of trash. Besides being a backstabber, I know for a fact that Michelle is bisexual and she loves women. Because she made sexual advances at me before she got with my son. I don't swing that way and I turned her ass down flat. When she couldn't have me, she went to the next best thing. It was my son. I am sick and tired of her brainwashing Patrick. I know for a fact that Lexi is not my granddaughter. Michelle is playing my son like a puppet so he will support her so she can sit on her fat ass. But guess what? Mama has had enough. Okay. She has lost her Now, mind. this is some family she feud. Don't even know. So you wanted to be with Mary. No, Mari, that is ridiculous. This woman has lost her mind. She is a habitual liar. All she's worried about is Patrick being mama's boy for the rest of his life and not going to happen. She thinks... She thinks you're with him just to spite her. Not true, Maury. That is not true at all. Okay. I have been bisexual, granted. Yes, I have. Ooh. But that is not my cup of tea, Maury. No. This is my family, and she is not going to tear it apart. Yeah. It's not going to so, so what time. we did was not only we have a DNA test. A lie you... detector, Maury. Yeah, that's what's up. We'll see your blood today. We'll see. So you're supposed to walk down the aisle in five months. That's right. Who is not going to be on the list to the wedding? Everybody in Mounds will be on there except Patrick's mother. She is not going to destroy my family no. or my daughter. She's not coming to her son's wedding? She sure ain't, Maury. By the way. Oh, you're right. Oh, she you're right. Oh, she Yeah, she called Fine, my daughter a and don't even I see her. <laughs> Up for a second. Okay, let's move right here. Thank you very much, Mary. Okay, she says you're a liar. You say she's a liar. She came on to you. Her and her friend wanted a threesome with me, and I turned her down. She's a liar. I got my friend's number right now. You can call her and ask her. You think that child looks like your granddaughter? No, I do not. The way you see it, when you rejected her. She went on to your son? Yes, despite me. Lies. Really? She is such a liar. You talk Look at her, Maury. Yes? I have been gay, like I said. I like women with meat on their bones, not a bean pole, Maury. She's a devil. Yeah, Whatever. I don't do that when you can stand it. By the way, Mary, if we prove that that's Patrick's child, are you going to the wedding? Hell no. I don't want nothing to do with it. Patrick right in the middle. Here's Patrick. Wow. Are you in the middle or what? <laughs> Definitely in the middle. Is that your child? Absolutely. 100%. Do you think, do you think Michelle hit on your mother? I don't think so. It's just rumors. Are you ready to get married without your mother being there? Yeah. I really would love my mom to be there, but she's got to accept our relationship. She just has to. If Lexi's yours and you've proved me out to be a liar, hey, I will chill out. But you got to prove me I wrong, I do believe son. you just said you were not coming to the wedding. Okay. If she was. First, we're going to go to the fraternity.
So we're going to do the paternity results first, which I care about more than anything, and then we'll do the lie detector, okay? When it comes to three-year-old Lexi Patrick, so we're going to do the paternity results first, which I care about more than anything, and then we'll do the lie detector, okay? When it comes to three-year-old Lexi Patrick, you are the father. Now what do you got to say? You were asked, during your relationship with Patrick, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other man? Nope. You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> That's You were asked if during your relationship with Patrick, have you ever had sexual contact with a woman? Nope. You said no. The lie detector test determined... Here it is. You are telling the truth. Yeah. Well, I never said we had sex, Michelle. You were asked, are you in love with Patrick? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Yeah. 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 I think Mary should bury her anger and you should offer forgiveness and you all should go to the same wedding. That's what I think. We'll be back right after this.